Okay, so welcome back, level two physicists. Uh, continuing on with the electricity, electromagnetism, uh, external, level two physics, NCEA. Uh, today we're looking at the right hand rule and electromagnets. Okay, so just reviewing last lesson, uh, we learned that magnetic field lines always go from north to south, as you can see by the arrows in the diagram for this bar magnet. Uh, so the first right hand rule we have is the uh, right hand rule involving the direction of a magnetic field on a wire. Okay, so if you make a thumbs up sign like that, okay, with your right hand, then the thumb uh, always points in the direction of the current and your fingers will point in the direction of the magnetic field. In this case, it's anti-clockwise. Okay, so the thumb points in the direction of the current in that wire and the finger points in the direction of the field lines. So in terms of um, exams, obviously you are in um, a paper situation. So paper is uh, two dimensions. So we have to be able to translate that third dimension of depth into a two dimensional diagram. So we have some conventions. Okay, so if the magnetic field line is going into the paper away from you, then that's a cross. And if it is going out of the paper towards you, then that's seen as a circle with a dot. What's the dot? So what does this look like? Um, so here's an example of drawing a wire in three dimensions. So uh, the wire is basically on the page. And you can see that the magnetic field lines are being dots uh, on the left hand side are coming towards you. And the ones on the right side, right hand side being crosses are going away from you. So where is the uh, magnetic flux, flux, flux density highest? So that's 10 times fast. Um, then it's going to be where the lines are closest. Okay, so that's going to be uh, here and here uh, in this diagram. Okay, where they're closest together. So in terms of using the right-hand rule, uh, here are some examples to try out. Okay, so pause the video now, and then we'll go through the answers uh, when you unpause. Right, so for the first one, uh, we get our right hand. The direction of the current is going that way. So it means that the um, magnetic field um, is going to be going towards us. Um, so dots on the top and crosses on the bottom. Okay, the second example, it's the opposite. So we're getting our, getting our right hand. So the current's now going that way. So it means that the, the magnetic field is going um, into the page on top and out of the page uh, at the bottom of the wire. And the ones on the right, okay, again using the right hand rule, you put the thumb in the direction of the current. So it means that um, the current of uh, the magnetic field is coming towards you uh, on the left and away from you on the right. And correspondingly with the last one, um, you've got that kind of approach there. That means that the current is going down, so that means that the magnetic field is going away from you on the left and towards you on the right, which is represented by the dots and the crosses. So in terms of a looped wire, uh, the wire in a loop is actually stronger, uh, has a much stronger magnetic field inside the loop uh, than it does on the outside. Okay, so because you can see that uh, from the diagram because the magnetic field lines are strong further apart uh, on the outside of the wire and closer together on the inside of the wire. Why is this? Uh, well, you're basically creating an electromagnet with a coil. Okay, so if we cut that coil in half, just cutting it down on the Y axis, um, then you can see that the uh, using the right hand uh, grip rule, um, if we're working out that the, the electricity is coming towards us on the um, left hand side and away from us, on the, sorry, away from us, for me that would be that way, on the um, right hand side, that means that the magnetic field is going anti-clockwise in both directions. So in the middle, uh, because of that, the two magnetic fields uh, line up together, they become stronger, so it just becomes a giant bar magnet. Okay, and this is the example of the right hand rule number two. So if you curled your fingers, in the direction of the current this time of the wire, okay, then what you're going to see is that the thumb will make the direction of the north pole. So in our example here, 
Okay, um, it's going to face the North Pole, so the current's going that way, like that. Okay, with your right hand rule, that means the North is North Pole is going to be that direction. Okay, so again, a couple of a uh, three examples here to try out. Uh, label the North and South Pole of an electromagnet. So pause the video now, and um, then come back when you want an answer. Try it for yourself. Right, so the first one um, here. The basically the using your right hand again uh, here the current is going around like that so that, that means the north pole must be going down okay in the other example uh, you, again you've got the the current going around in that direction so that means the north pole is that direction and the final example um, is that again going that way that means the north pole is in that direction okay. Uh, and that's just examples of the magnetic field created by something called a solenoid, which is the, the coiled um, wires. Okay, and there's many uses for electromagnets. Uh, Shinkansen, or bullet train to Japan, use magnets to reduce friction so they can travel at high speeds, like 300 kilometers an hour. And also speakers in both your headphones and your home uh, system. Uh, basically use AC current that changes the direction of the magnetic field. Therefore, uh, by changing the current, uh, that creates the, the changes on the um, front of the speaker and that's uh, where sound waves can resonate okay so that's just some examples of how electromagnets are used in real life